Hi, it's Bill the Handyman. Today we're going to look at a water valve. And so uh, basically if your washing machine doesn't let either the hot or cold water in, here's one of the things you want to check. You don't normally have to pull the valve out, but uh, in this case we do have the valve out. So we're going to set your meter on ohms or check the loop. And you can look, you can visually inspect this one, and you can see there's a slight brown mark around the center of the, the one on the right. And uh, the one on the left looks clear. So, and occasionally these things will actually melt, and you'll see that the plastic is melted. And so to double check this with a meter, it's always a good idea to check your screens to see if they're plugged up as well. And uh, so in order to check this with a meter, basically uh, you put your probes on the two uh, leads and you should come up with continuity. And you can see on this one here, uh, it's nothing. And so again on this one here, we get a reading okay and again on this one uh, there's nothing and so I've saved a lot of these and what I'll do sometimes is I'll actually bend these apart and then swap one that has a uh, burnt uh, coil and put it in and then bend it back just to save natural resources and so if you haven't signed up for my how to make money in appliance repair course which includes uh, when you're coaching and a link to over a hundred videos send 49.95 to Bill's Enterprises PO Box 7021 Eureka California and I also have an affiliate program where anyone who calls or contacts me about any of the repair videos I've made and if they're in your area I'll refer them to you uh, as a member of the uh, appliance repair uh, course uh, so enrollment plan so yeah uh, that's your uh, water level tip for today and so again if your machine wasn't letting your hot or cold water in it's probably going to be one of these valves that thing next thing you can do is check for your voltage in the machine uh, and check for voltage here if you don't have voltage when you're uh, turned on at your machine there's likely going to be a problem with your timer okay thanks again for watching